This is the Negro Ninja. And today I'm gonna let this Reddit play of a bitch that is of the whole variety making fun of a nigga for being a virgin. Let's listen. Am I the a-hole stories? Am I the a-hole for telling my extended family how many men, roughly, my sister has slept with after she honored our youngest brother as a virgin? We had a family dinner this evening. My family has four kids in total. Me, my elder sister, 29 female, younger sister, 24 female, and youngest brother, 22 male. Extended family attended our family dinner. So, all of our significant others, our cousins, aunts and uncles, etc. During the dinner, my elder sister and youngest brother got into a mild disagreement. My sister seemed, at least to me, to be coming across as very aggressive out of frustration and losing said argument. The two of them were too absorbed in their argument to realize the rest of us were getting a bit fed up. Eventually my sister got really fed up and said, shut up, I'm not going to argue with a 22 year old virgin. All right. All right, and you know we live in, in the end times when a whore can get away with making fun of a nigga for not having sex. All right, back in the day, niggas will not even touch a bitch. Okay, they'll do shit with a bitch behind closed doors or a hooker or something. Okay, but we living in a time to where the whole opinions matters most. Okay, to the point where one even t almost took out the president. Okay, he damn near got impeached dealing with this one bitch that was a hoe. Okay, and she was a hooker, you know, just promiscuous. All right, they were probably stone bitches like this back in the day. Okay, but hoes like this drives some men to their deaths. Okay, because niggas have low self-esteem and value bitches too much. Lots of men have killed themselves over a lack of bitch, which is strange. But it's just the way it is for many motherfuckers. Okay, now what this bitch did is the equivalent of a fat motherfucker in school. That likes to sit around and try to roast everybody. Trying to take the attention off of him. Because he's fat and insecure. And I always say that. F sex and food is the same thing to these hoes. Bitch why are you getting so big? Okay. The refrigerator is empty. What you, what the, how the hell are you gaining all this weight? Oh I don't know. I just don't eat but one, once a day. And when you don't eat a lot, your body naturally gets fat. They got every type of excuse of why they get fat when they really just packing their mouth behind your back. Which is why there's no food. Bitch is pregnant. Bitch, what you... You gaining weight. Okay, bitch is pregnant. She not fucking, but her stomach getting big. All right. What this bitch did was the equivalent of a white motherfucker on social media losing an argument with a black nigga. Okay, they can't think of nothing to say, so they just type the N-word. Okay, just like that meme. Okay, and if her brother was black, she probably would have called that nigga a nigga. My brother hadn't done any personal attacks up until that point. It was completely unprovoked. I think it might have been the alcohol, as my sister is a mean drunk. Anyway, I immediately told my sister to grow up, and that she was making an embarrassment of herself. She replied by saying everyone knows he's a virgin and she didn't say anything wrong. This annoyed me as my... All right. Everybody knows he's a virgin. Now, this reminds me of that one episode of Wendy Williams. All right. And I think that she showed a clip of a NFL player that was between the ages of 27 and 28 saying that he was a virgin by choice. And that he's waiting for the right bitch. Okay. And then Wendy Williams was like. Well I for sure ain't no virgin. And the, and the crowd basically backing her up. You know just a crowd full of bitches. Okay. That are hoes. Okay. Feeling insecure. That they shouldn't have been fucking as much as they was doing. So they're trying to take it out on this dude. Okay. Because you got to realize. The dating device is. I mean the dating device is a satanic device. Okay, giving the hoes out of power. It's usually, you know, usually people wouldn't give a fuck about dudes walking around fucking everything. But it's the hoes that get to easier. Okay, 
And once again, if it, for it to be easier for men, he has to mirror bitch. Okay, unless he just, you know, like if he's masculine, usually he has to have everything in order. You know, and that's only to distract that. It's, that's to distract um, his mask. Hold on. The stuff that's in order is used to distract the bitch from him in the masculinity or whatever. So you know how that goes. All right. That is what they do. Bro definitely has confidence issues. He has confidence issues. So she could be putting him in a predicament to commit suicide. You know, a lot of motherfuckers commit suicide over lack of bitch. Okay, there's nothing good about a hoe. Okay, but a motherfucker can't live without her. To where they feel like they have to end their lives. Okay, very funny how hoes cannot take criticism about being fat. Anything you say that is not fetishizing a bitch's fatness is body shaming. If you're not worshiping, it is body shaming. Okay. So, a bitch will pick at a dude for his lack of body, but don't want you to say shit about her body or her body count. Ironic. Okay. And he's feeling bad. Okay. When the reality is he should not really give a fuck about what she say, because the reality is with how fucked up bitches is, it's actually better that you don't, you know, be trying to fuck these hoes like that until... You find the right women. Okay, because the man, you know, like a chick can get pregnant, but at the end of the day, she can get child support. She can cripple a dude. Okay, if she wanted to, as long as she set it up right, she can cripple him. Okay, dude could get crippled had he made a mistake and just tried to stick his dick into something because he don't want to be called a virgin. Okay. He don't want to be called a virgin, so he risks running his life with a mistake just to seem cool. Okay, and it's actually more important what a man does, okay, because it's so crazy that a chick can even take your seed and put it in another chick or whatever, or even sell it and just give it to whoever. It's very dangerous. Okay, she can swallow or just pretend to it's do these type of things. Okay, so much sinister shit that could happen. All right. And I think it's funny. And I was supposed to make a video talking about something like this a long time ago. Uh, some, one of my boys messaged me on Instagram. He was like, you notice that in the Bible, it always seemed to only make a big deal out of a man fucking the wrong bitch than it does with women fucking the wrong nigga. Because nobody give a fuck about stupid bitches. Okay, despite the fact that Satan gave bitches dominion with the dating game. Okay, giving a whole the right to choose who is going to be having a copy. Okay, when the reality is, it's the nigga that uses bitch to make a copy. So they give the whole the choice. And she wants to make copies with motherfuckers that should not be made copies of. Okay, so this here is deep. So like I said, who gives a fuck? Okay, and if a dude is a virgin, who, who gives it? It makes more sense. Okay. And like I said, you the man one minute. But she could call rape the next minute. It's very dangerous. Okay, like even being bold is very scary shit when you really start to think about it. Okay, and like I said, watch my consequences of boldness videos. See all that dumb shit that I was getting into with just, you know, having the aura that makes bitches. Just, just listen, listen to the shit. Okay, and I can make more. Okay, but anyway. It doesn't need to be made fun of like this. So, I responded by saying how she slept with well over a hundred men while she was in college, and that since everyone in the family knows this, it's not a big deal, right? Turns out her husband didn't know this amazingly, I genuinely assumed he must have known. He left the party angrily, saying my sister mislead him about her past. Family is blaming me for their marital problems. Uh-oh. It's like the studies say when a bitch has over three sexual partners, that's pretty much a done deal. She can't really pair bond. This bitch has over a hundred. Okay. That marriage was done when she made the decision to be a hoe. Okay. You ain't have shit to do with it. Okay. So the reality is God was using both her. Okay. And her brother that was being ridiculed. To save him from bitch. 
because he would have never found out had that not happened. She would have tucked that to her grave. Okay. All right. And they may have had a long marriage. But it would not be as good as the marriage that he desired because you can't make a hoe into a housewife. All right. I refuse to accept I did anything wrong. My sister bullied my brother in front of everyone. All I did was give her a taste of her own medicine. Yep. You got to be able to take what you can dish out. Whatever you dish out, you got to be able to take. Now for the top comments. Everyone sucks here. One person making personal attacks doesn't mean someone else should, especially since you weren't even in the argument to begin with. Bullshit. Okay, they was having a simple debate about something and she took it and tried to crush his soul. Okay, sometimes violence have to be met with worse violence. All right, and I heard that shit in a Fist of the North Star trailer, you know, for that cartoon that manga made, that mom, um... The studio manga published. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That shit is real. Because you got to let motherfuckers know that this type of shit is not okay. Okay, that shit was... I'm telling you, he do could end this stuff over there. Yeah, everyone sucks here seems right. Not cool of her to be going after his brother like that. But there were much better ways of diffusing the argument than stooping to her level of... See, and what people need to stop doing <laughs> is trying to defend the bully. Okay, whenever somebody gets into the bully's ass... That person is the bully all of a sudden. Uh -uh. Okay. Like I said, I, I know this from experience. Okay. Let somebody say something about you. Okay. Let, let them come at you that way. Okay. And if it rubs off on you, if you did it to somebody, the first thing, you know, somebody made you mad and you just go straight for the juggler. People are going to check you. They're going to say, that is not how you talk to people. You know, they'll just come at you and say that you're the bad guy. That ain't right. But when it's happening to you about 10 times in a row, okay, nobody's going to say anything. So this motherfucker's a narcissist who said this shit. Personal attack, regardless of the aftermath. Not the a-hole. You were looking out for your little brother and you fought with the truth. Yep. If your sister can't take the truth, she shouldn't dish it out. You know, they say you shouldn't throw stones if you live in a glass house. All right, what well, you know, like the 50 Cent lyrics when he took that, you shouldn't throw stones when you live in a glass house, and if you got a glass jaw, you should watch your mouth. Okay, it's, that's what this is. She also shouldn't have kept it from her husband. I'm telling you, that was God saving this dude. Didn't she say there was nothing wrong with talking about other siblings' ex life? Sounds like she doesn't think that applies to her, but she has no right to be upset that OP followed her position. Not the a-hole. One. She started the personal attacks on body count so she can't be mad when someone points out hers. Two. She lied to her husband about her past and that's her fault. All right. And you know the Bible scripture. Okay. About judging. At least you shall be judged. Once again, you got to be able to take what you're dishing out. Okay. If you. Oh, okay. That's wrong. When you do something wrong, somebody should be able to tell you that was wrong. Okay. And secondly, why would you hide that type of shit from your husband? Okay. If anything, she's the a-hole for that. Three, if their marriage is truly in trouble for you speaking the truth, it's probably not the best match. Point number two is why I go with not the a-hole instead of everyone sucks here. Yeah, but that's pretty much it right now, man. Okay, this shit here crazy. All right. <clears throat> Let me see if I got any more points. All right. Very funny. Niggas lie about how much pussy they get. Holes lie about how much dick they don't get. Strange shit right here. Okay, you know it's fucked up when a hole has to lie about not having sex. Okay. All right. And all this shit happened because the bitch was trying to escape anyway. You see how that happens? Okay. She's trying to escape what she is, okay? I remember reading the definition of a slut, you know, in one of them old dictionaries. And in the old definition, it was saying that it's a woman with morals of a man. Okay, so she doesn't want to be a woman. That's why hoes do this. That's why they play with pussy so much. They feel empowered by playing with sex. 
It's an escape. Okay, so she took that same mentality in this argument. She doesn't like to be wrong. Hoes don't like to be wrong. They feel less of a person. Like being a hoe makes a being a woman makes hoes feel like less of women. Okay, less of a being. So they go out of that and just try to hurt you. And like they try to hurt you with whoredom. Okay, usually it's to get back at the dude. Like Adam had to deal with his wives. Okay, and other, other bitches in the Bible, you know, whose hoes wasn't really acting right. Okay, just like she took this out of a conversation and made it a spiritual war. Okay, and tried to attack his self-esteem. And look at where there's gotten her. Okay, it pays not to run. You just got to deal with things as they are. And that shit wouldn't even happen. And that's all I got to say for this rent. And this has been the Negro Ninja bringing you your Negro message for today. Negro out.